Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to take a wander around Patong, in particular Bangla Road, but I thought I'd start on the beach area. The sun is just setting over there to my right hand side and I want to show you what the beach is like in late September. It is Friday the 29th of September and we're coming up to just after six o'clock in the evening as you can see we've got some paragliding how many is that two four six i can count at the moment that are actually going up so that's very busy we've got a lot of speed boats some jet skis out over there we're almost at the end of low season next month being october the end of october we start to go into high season so i wanted to come over and show you what low season is like of course tourism this year is being driven by the russians coming over here because of their problems and the things that are going on within their country they're deciding to come to phuket so in a way tourism has been helped here on the island of phuket by the extra russians so we're gonna now have a quick wander down the beach and then once we've done that we are gonna go and have a wander down Bangla Road. This guy here is putting some chairs out. He obviously thinks he's going to be busy once the sun sets. The beach is a great area to come and relax in the evening, maybe get some food off one of the many food vendors that are along Beach Road and then come to the beach area and enjoy this beautiful atmosphere. So as you can see there, the sun is just about setting so we've timed that perfect. And you can see the amount of people just over there. It is really busy tonight. It's actually surprised me. As you will know, if you follow my channel, I've been doing a few videos over here in Pantong just lately. And I thought, well, it's about time we took a look at Bangla Road because it has been a while since I last filmed Bangla Road. And I thought, well, I'll just come onto the beach, being the sun is setting, and grab a few shots. And you can see the beach is extremely busy. And I guess that's because of the sunset. People just filming it. And there it is, look. You can just see it disappearing. Lovely, lovely beach here in Patong. I know a lot of people are sort of on the fence. They don't like Patong because it's busy. But regardless of whether you like Patong or not, the beach here is really nice and it's definitely worth coming and visiting during your stay. Even if you're not staying in Patong, I would recommend you come and check the beach out and even go down Bangla Road, why not? It's an experience. Of course, maybe if you're in a family and you've got younger children, that's slightly different. But I wanna go down there, check out not just the bars and the clubs in Bangla Road, but I want to check out some of the shops and I believe there's a market down there as well. You can see yourself that <laughs> I'm really surprised the amount of people that are on the beach. It's phenomenal. And just check out the weather. Absolutely fantastic. The last two days the weather has really come back and it has been beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yesterday and today, perfect days, almost like high season. Okay, one thing I want to mention while we're on the beach is there has been a lot of drownings this year in Phuket, unfortunately. And just today I was reading in the media that a Russian guy has lost his life on Bantau Beach. Now today you can see the weather, it is absolutely beautiful, but you can still see that we have red flags on the beach. Now these flags are there for your safety, no other reason. The lifeguards do not put these out lightly. They're not there to spoil your fun. They're trying to keep you safe. And even though the weather is beautiful today, we have seen a lot of storms over the last two weeks. And it's the storms that cause the problem because the west side of Phuket suffers from very bad undercurrents. Now, looking at the sea today, you wouldn't believe there would be a problem. But there is because these flags are telling you there is. So for your own sake, and I don't want to keep going on about this, but if it can save somebody's life, then it's worth me saying it. Pay attention to these. If they're red, 
and they say no swimming they're there for a reason and this one there's red flags out today even though the sea doesn't look like it would cause you any problems you can't see it because it's underneath the surface the undercurrents are there so just be careful this time of year September October August time you need to pay attention to the beach flags as I say they're there for your safety right let's now get off the beach and go and have a wander towards Bangla Road Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go to Bangla Road. Come on. Now you can see Beach Road, quite busy in the evening. Lots and lots of motorbikes here. Lots and lots of motorbikes. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it is still early evening. So this will give you a, an impression of what it's like around sunset time, coming out from your hotel, maybe looking for a restaurant, have some food, few drinks to get the evening underway. I will, of course, be back at some point later next month to do the nighttime adventures in Patong. So now we're going to try and make our way across here if they'll give way. Okay, so this is the start of Bangla Road. Welcome to the main part of Patong.
Okay, so at this part of the video, I was hoping to take you a little tour around the Bangla market, but unfortunately, some of the vendors noticed that I'd got a video camera running and they weren't over keen on letting me go inside to film the goods that are on offer there. And the reason for that is some of the goods are not necessarily originals and not what they seem. So if you're after those type goods, you will be able to find it within the Bangla market, but unfortunately, I can't can't show you on this video those goods because Thailand does have copyright laws and I guess the vendors didn't want me advertising the fact that maybe the market isn't what it seems. So instead we're gonna go next door to the food market and have a little look around here. Already you can see burger place right outside but this market does have a lot of seafood on offer and I do mean a lot as you will see as we walk around. So if seafood's your thing maybe you want to have a little wander around this market and see whether you can get a good deal. They do have other stalls of course selling other types of food so have a nosy and enjoy. <laughs> oh my god, how much? Uh, one kilo, one thousand. How heavy? Oh, I don't know. Three kilo more. Oh my god, okay, he's big, big and juicy. Huh? Okay, so that one's just over three kilos. Very fat. So, what did you think of Bangla Road? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget, we're late September, it is Friday the 29th of September, just coming up to seven o'clock in the evening, so that's a reference point for you. But I thought Bangla Road looking pretty busy. The beach, very busy. Of course, we had the sunset, so that was great. So, that just leaves me to say, as always, if you've enjoyed this walk down Bangla Road, then please remember, the thumbs up it really helps the channel please consider subscribing and i guess that's it guys i will catch you on the next one